hello friends welcome back to express tutorial so last few days we are discussing about the node basically this was the core node application and in this video we are going to start some advanced level of node.js we will learn about a node.js framework basically express is a node.js framework and we will discuss about express and we will discuss what is express and why we use express over node means the difference between express and node and how to install express into your application and we'll do some coding so we'll create a basic program and we'll run that into our browser so that we can understand really how express is working right so the first thing is what is express so express is a node.js web application server framework right so last few days we are discussing about the basic concept of node.js and this is the node.js framework means node.js actually working in browser using v8 engine and express is the node.js framework which is created by node.js application and basically it is designed for building single page or multi page or any hybrid web application right simply you can say express is a minimal and flexible node.js web application framework that provides a robust set of features for web and mobile application right so the thing we need to know now what is the difference between express and node so basically node.js is used to build a server side input output event driven apps right and express is used to build a web apps or using approaches and principle of node.js basically it's using node.js with a proper structural way so that we can easily handle express.js and we can easily develop with less time right and express.js is written in javascript and the node.js developed with c c++ also have javascript right and if we compare with the feature we can get the fewer feature in node.js means whatever we will get in basic node.js all the things we will get in the express.js and also express.js have some more features for this framework right so we can understand we will get the better benefit and we will get the more features using express.js right so basically express is a framework based node.js application right and the important thing when you want to create any web application as we know that node.js can interact with server so when you create any api or when you create any routing link automatically express.js provides the direct routing structure that means we can handle the request type like get post put patch delete this type of all the things which we need for api and in a simple node.js we don't have any routing types things we can create custom routes but in the express.js we'll get in a proper way we can get in a proper structure of that so that we do not create for our custom routing system we will get and we can use only that right and as we can see so there is a lots of features in express.js so it takes less coding time related to node.js so there have lots of features in express.js we can understand step by step when you cover all the tutorial in this express.js right so the next thing is why we use express so, so we can understand when we actually explain with the difference we can get understand why we actually use express and what is the advantage and what is the benefit so all we understand now the thing is how to use express so for now we need to create a application so you can see this is the uh, blank folder that is the node express folder and i am using visual studio code and opening that folder so here i actually create a node.js application so to initialize any node.js application we can simply write npm init and uh, just enter this it will basically ask some questions so just use the default thing so just enter and the version is 1.0.0 and description 
basic express uh, tutorial right so spinning stick tutorial and the entry point i will create any point that is the index.js that is a by default index.js so we can change but i am using index.js so i am don't so i don't want to change right now and test command just keep this if you want to say it you can say it for now i am skipping this git repository you can say it i can skip now and keywords you can add keywords and the author you can write here learning points okay and license by default it is isc and finally it is asking for confirmation so whatever i have provided just now is it okay or not so simply yes right and by entering we are getting the new file that is inside here we are getting package.json so right so we can see all the things which i just inserted into the terminal and we can use all the things and if i want to further change we can change from here so this is basic uh, npm initialization and here you can see the main is index.js so simply this is my entry point so let's create a index.js right so whatever we'll do here right so simply just uh, write here console.log and just write something so hello and if you just open a terminal and you can see that is note index.js so we are getting a hello so here i will just going to install the express right so this is the actually a express module so simply just uh, go into the browser and let's search so npm express right so we are getting the npmjs.com and we'll get all the installation information from here so simply write npm install express install is basically i i is the short form so we can write install or i anything so simply just uh, install this so just paste and it may take some time to install the express so it's installing and by installing any package we are getting some new files that is package.json this is updated so if i just go here you can see the dependency section we are getting 4.17.3 that is the express js latest version and these package are installed and we are getting the node modules right so actually these are installed and this is the dependencies of express.js so it's installing along with express and we can track whatever we install we can get in the package log.json so simply just uh, down this and here we can see all the things detail right now just close this so here i want to run a simple program and i want to check how express is working right so for now so simply i just going to remove this and here just use the express so simply use the let express so you can write express and here just use the require express right so by requiring basically it's uh, getting all the things into the express variable and we can use this so simply let's create a app i am taking a variable that's app and i want to access all the access functions through the app so simply write express right so this is the access function so we are getting all things inside the app and simply we can run app dot listen right and here we can provide the port so from which port i am just going to run my application so simply we can write any port suppose 4000 right this is the port now if i just want to create any link so simply just use app and we can use the request type you can use get post put patch delete other things for for now we can access the gate and when you create api that time we can 
uh, create the post type or delete type post type so this is the basic things i am just going to show you this is the get method and simply just uh, here get method is suppose slash and just create a um, arrow function and simply it will ask a call a function that is first parameter request and second is response right and inside this callback function we will just run our logic or simply we can uh, send any uh, response so simply use the response so res and i want to send some output so we can write send and simply write anything suppose write hello devs right so just go into the terminal and run this application so simply write note and the file name that is index.js so we have not console anything so we can get the output into the 4000 port so just here we can see just go here localhost 4000 right so simply write 4000 and we are getting hello devs right so in the same way if i just going to create another thing suppose i want to create another so simply write uh, suppose contact us right and hello devs this is contact us page right and run the application again note and simply just use the previous one actually so just stop this and rerun this and if i just go here we can get the hello devs also we can access this link also so simply write contact us and just enter we can get it these things so here we can render our html files or our things which i want to create and in this way we can create a menu or we can use the bootstrap and all those things right so next day we are going to discuss about more on the routing system and related things of this right so hope you will like this video and still if you have any queries about this video please comment in a below comment section Thanks for watching this video. Have a good day. Bye.